Hello, everybody. This is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and, um... <coughs> uh, this is going to be my review for My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 19. This episode, um, I had seen a few thumbnails for people doing reactions for this show, or this episode in particular, and, uh, seeing Aizawa cry was not a good sign to me. I thought maybe somebody had died. And it kind of, they kind of did. Kind of. But this episode is focused on Aizawa, present Mike, and a friend of theirs that they had gone to UA with, who had apparently died during a, I guess a job or something. We actually never find out what the guy's base quirk was, but apparently we learn a few things about the Nomu. That they aren't just, you know, the usual Nomu that we see, you know, with the brain out and everything. Apparently, Kurogiri is an actual Nomu, a type of Nomu, that not only has intelligence, but is apparently their friend. I can't, dang it. Dang it, what did they call him? What was his name? Shirakumo? If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I'm probably getting the name wrong. I just watched the episode this morning. My memory is that bad, you guys. But yeah, they figured that getting those two over there would maybe stir up the guy's old memories. And maybe if they got lucky, they might be able to get some information out of him. And if they really got lucky, they might be able to get him back. And that's what I was hoping would happen in this episode. They kept on trying to get the guy to do to say something while trying to trigger his old memories of who he was. I thought it was working, but I think his brain I guess all that all that uh trauma and everything and everything that was going on around him, it made his brain short circuit and he just I guess lost consciousness. So, I don't think it really worked, but they did learn one thing. Something about a hospital. When he mentioned it, I thought he was talking about what he had been at the hospital back when he died. And all for one had found him and took him in. That's what I figured they were talking about, he was talking about. But no, I think he's talking about the doctor that was were helping all for one is doing something with Tomura. I don't know what they're doing. I'm assuming... The most logical standpoint, because all for one's not around at the moment, would be improving the guy's quirk to where he could choose to decay something if he's holding on to it. Like, for example, holding on to my phone, for example. If I was Tomura at the time before all this started, it would instantly decay, whether I wanted it to or not. However, I'm hope I'm thinking that they're improving the quirk to where he could choose if he would decay something or not. Like, have better control over it. Maybe that's what they're doing? I don't know what the heck they're doing. They were doing something to the poor guy. And I wouldn't have wished that on him. And really, I don't know what I would wit. I don't even know what it is. <coughs> I highly doubt it's torture, because that's their leader for crying out loud. They're not torturing the guy. So, what they get in that probably is torture. Whether that's, it's something that's beneficial to him. That's all I am assuming it is. Because I don't think they're giving him any other quirks because, well, like I said, All for One is not there. And I highly doubt that All for One give, would give his base quirk to anybody else except possibly Tomura. And I don't think he, I don't know if he did that before he got arrested. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll find out next episode. Actually, next episode is my villain academy, academy or whatever, but so we might learn some stuff about some of the villains and what they've been up to. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'm sorry for getting it out so late, but I did record it today. I wasn't able to do it on Saturday because a bunch of stuff was going on. Yesterday, I couldn't record anything because the same thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time.